My little brothers and sisters, I welcome all of you with the Islamic greetings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy, and blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala behold on all of you. Today, we will discuss about your elementary mathematics of class 2. And I will try to solve all the questions of page number 23. And this is part 2. In part 1, we were solve more than... Uh, almost all the questions but some questions were not solved so now in part 2 I will try to solve that questions so because uh, uh, because uh, to solve any problems first of all we need to read the questions deeply so first of all I will try to show you the questions which is mentioned in your textbook in page number 23 so let's go this is your textbooks page number 23 and in part 1 I was solved question number 1 2 uh, there has more than 35 questions now in this part or in this tutorial I will try to solve question number 3 and question number 4 so now we will solve question number three uh, before that i would like to read this question deeply so look 18 players of national cricket team of sri lanka came to play in bangladesh there are 18 players in bangladesh team also how many players are there in two teams together all together dear students you know that when you play cricket a, pl a cricket game uh, consists two teams so like that there is the questions that Bangladesh and Sri Lanka are two teams but Sri Lanka has 18 players and Bangladesh has also 18 players so 18 plus 18 is equal to what and if you count 18 plus 18 if you add this 18 plus 18 if you sum if you make a summation if uh, of 18 plus 18 you can get the answer easily so we will do that but there has a fact that you should write the answer systematically so how can you customize or summarize this question and how can you solve this question i will see you on the slide so let's uh, try to do it so this is solution of question number three in the first line you should write that the number of players in sri lanka is 18 and it is mentioned in the, your question here is the question that 80 players of national cricket team of Sri Lanka so this is mentioned in your textbooks so like this we will write in the first line of our math that the number of players in Sri Lanka is 18 and in the second line we will write that the number of players in Bangladesh is 18 you will be astonished that I am right a sign of plus y because it is a math of adding because it he it is a math of summation and that is why i write this sign and you also should write this sign in your math whenever you uh, you will solve such types of questions so in the second line you will write that number of players in Bangladesh team is 18 so now we will count this 18 and 18 all together uh, that means we will add this 18 and 18 so in the final line we will write that all together the number of players is 36 so you can ask me that how we can get 36 so i am uh, trying to uh, understand you that how we can get 36 in the first part of my lesson of my tutorial I was saying to you that when you solve a problem you should start the problem from your right hand side and you should count the numbers of the digits which is mentioned in your right hand side so see that in my right hand side the line which is mentioned here the digits are 8 and 8 so when we will add this 8 and 8 the number will be what 8 and 8 is equal 16 and that is why we were just right here 6 so you can say that 
why where was the one the, uh, you know that one was in my hand as a carry bit so that one will be add with that one one plus one is equal to two and finally two plus one is equal to three so the answer is 36 so altogether the number of players is 36 and that is the answer so remember that at the last of your math you sh must write your answer like this answer is equal 36 for this question the answer is 36 i hope that you all were understand that now i will try to solve question number four which is mentioned in your textbooks uh, in page number uh, 23 so now we will try to solve this type of question uh, before that i would like to read this question deeply in question number four we can see that in a school there are 26 girls and 25 boys in class 2 how many students there are, are in class 2 in total so you should must you should always utilize you should always try to identify what types of data are there and what you should do for this type for the solutions of these types of math there we can see that two types of data are mentioned one is the number of girls and the second is the number of boys and the author asked to uh, ask you to solve the questions in total so when we will try to count any number total the when you see the term of total you can understand that the total is comes from adding so when you see total you should add that numbers that two numbers so how can we systematically customize this question i will show you now okay that is the solution of question number four in the first line you should write there are 26 girls and these data was given in your question of uh, question number four so in the first line you should write that there are 26 girls and in the second line you should write there are is equal 25 boys so why i add this plus sign i mentioned it earlier that because it is a calculation of adding because it is a calculation of summation and that is why you should write plus sign in your math whenever you will write this whenever you will try to solve these types of mathematics or these types of maths so how can we count these uh, numbers these two numbers and what will we write in the final line so in the final line you should write that in total the number of students are why i write in total here because the author asked to count the total numbers of the students and that is why i write that in total the number of students are and how we find 51 now i am uh, try to clear it so at the earlier of the math i was say you that whenever you solve a math you should count it from your right hand side so 5 plus 6 is equal 11 and that is why i will write just one here and one will be in my hand as a carry bit and that one will add with the two so 2 plus 1 is equal 3 and finally that 3 plus 2 is equal 5. So the answer of this question, so the answer of this math, so the answer of this problem is equal 55. So in total the number of students are 51. So I hope that you all were understand that and it is the answer. So remember that after finishing any types of math you must write the answer of the math so the answer of this math is 51 students so i hope that you all were understand all types of math and uh, in my next video in my next tutorial i will try to solve another types of math which is mentioned in your textbooks uh, so be safe stay home uh, thank you very much goodbye